This is going to be a quick overview of how to take an 18 inch Weber kettle and convert it into a gas fired wall. It takes a minimal amount of tools to make this. Um, the main tool that you really need is a two and a quarter hole saw and obviously a drill to run it. Um, the only other things you need are just like some pliers or a little wrench or something to tighten up the screw for the burner. So the burner that I used is just your basic 15 pound turkey fryer burner. And uh, all you do is just take the hole saw and basically you're gonna go right off the edge of this and bore a hole like that. And then the plug that you take out will actually become your washer for the bottom side. And I'll turn that over and show that to you now. So here you can see just how simple it really is. You can see where I bored the hole in, then took the plug and then used the plug as the washer for the hole in the center. Now whatever was here, like for dampeners, I don't even know if the 18 had anything like that. Uh, this, this grill was like this when I got it, so there was nothing there, so it made it simple for me. Uh, if there is something on that grill, you might have to remove it or whatever to make it work out, but like I said, for me, there was nothing on there, but uh, it's just as simple as boring a hole, and you can see how close I've got it to the edge of that oblong. And use it as a washer and bolt it right on, and it's just as simple as that. It's actually a pretty comfortable height for cooking in it. It's um, maybe just a tad bit low for me. Maybe it could be five inches taller, but it's definitely not a deal breaker by all means. Uh, one of the nice things about the way that it functions is when you, when you put the wok in it, the heat actually gets pushed up and around because it's actually being held in there. And I think eventually I'm going to take and maybe slice these so these handles can go down in and then it'll actually close that gap off a little bit tighter and uh, really hold the heat in it. But it doesn't take a whole lot. It doesn't take a whole lot of heat to get her going. That's probably a little much right there to start burning. So one of the things about the turkey fire burner that you can play with is you can actually alter the flame by adding something like this. And this is actually the diffuser off of my side burner, off of my gas grill. And, uh, and this is a cover plate and that actually forces the flame out. So it gives you a, a lot wider stance on your flame as opposed to this just coming straight up and it kind of helps a little bit. So here's the basic flame without it being diffused. Now let's see what it looks like uh, with the diffuser on it. So you can see it's got a much wider stance and uh, for wok cooking it would really help because that'll really help uh, that'll really help get that heat pushed up around the bowl. So I think you could actually probably make some different diffusers out of a plate of metal and actually let some flame come up out of the center as well. But uh, this is just grabbing that off of the grill and just throwing it on there and seeing if I could get the flame diffused in it. It actually works excellent.
So one thing I'd say about the wok or the discus or whatever they call it, they got a bunch of different names for it. When you're getting your outdoor area set up, your party spot or your barbecue pit or whatever it is you call it, this this tool right here is really handy. It's so versatile. It's so much more than a wok. It it does so much. You can, as you can see that uh, you can deep fry in it you can stir fry in it you can use it as a soup pot it is just it has so many uses i, I think it's a, a tool that everybody should consider having and i've been wanting to to put one of these together for a while and uh, i really um obviously wanted to have it covered because i'm outside and i leave my stuff out here and uh, with the chickens and everything else and the birds I just always want it to be covered and uh, just to help keep some of the dirt off that way I don't have to do a super scrub to use it but um, yeah this thing is just awesome I, I, I can't believe I didn't do this sooner I highly recommend it the thing's awesome